here of our little ginger uh, uh, of our little gingerbread man, right? Uh, we're gonna come. We're gonna come over this way. Yeah. And then we have this gingerbread man with a knife. Who's eat, 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 eat. Sweet tooth. Wanda girl, thank you. Sweet tooth, yes. How are we doing on that here? 53 seconds. I'm going to spin those around now. My oven is a lot. Oh, thank you. my gosh. All the follows, you guys are just holy Toledo. You got took a photo with a follow. Thank you for that. The knife, right? The knife. Why did the ginger dead man go to the doctor? He felt crummy. <laughs> all right, we're going to, oh, I need my other glove. I'm going to flip these all the way around. I don't have lights in here. I don't have fancy. Um, the dial here, that's how I know what the temperature of my oven is. It's really hard to use an oven thermometer in there because it's dark because there's no light. And I always have to get out a flashlight. So now that was, let's see. That was, oh, I did it again. I opened up my stupid calculator. Jeez Louise. Okay. So that was six minutes. Now we're gonna go another three minutes. So for her, for me, to, the dial here tells me what temperature my oven is. When it spins loose, the minute it starts to get resistance, whatever that reads, that's my temperature. I'm gonna lurk and clean the kitchen. I feel that one. Oh my goodness. When I have a stream that has like a kabillion dishes, it's, um, it's brutal. It is absolutely brutal. Okay, I think we already heard this song. Pretzel Rocks, I need you to start playing different music, not play the same songs over and over and over again. Okay, we're just gonna put that one up there. He can, ooh, gosh. Gotta get all that stuff out of there. I am not looking forward to decorate. Oh, I, I just broke off his knife arm. Don't look at it, don't look at it. Nobody look at the thing. I told the fan that joke. They didn't seem as excited as I was. I, I absolutely love you know, the food and drink Twitch community. It just, it puts a huge smile on my face every single time I turn on that camera. I absolutely think it's one of the most fun things I've done. And I teach classes, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm used to speaking before a lot of people and, and, and um, giving directions and, and all that kind of stuff. This is just a different, Apparently there's a pan right there and now there's a whole bunch of flour. This is just a whole, a whole different level and just so much fun to actually do. And I can't believe how fast this year has gone. I just started streaming in January and it has been an absolute, an absolute hoot. An absolute hoot. Okay, we're, I think we can get one more. It needs to be a little bit longer. Fits the homicide theme. We're doing ho-ho homicide. Okay, a little bit on that side there, and I think we should be able to get one more. Ooh, that's gonna be really tight. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna work. There's a new restaurant made out of life-size gingerbread. I'd be, I'd be over there just gnawing on the side of the walls. There's no food here for you to have. I only ate half of it. You can eat the other half of that. Okay, we're gonna let these sit over here to the side, and then we're going to bake these other two with it. We're gonna get started on the other dough. Oh, I gotta, can you wash that? Oh, never mind. I, I'll do my own washing. But I am gonna wrap this up because I don't wanna miss out on this little bit of dough. This little bit of dough could be the difference between another cookie. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be eating, I'd be walking up to the walls going, it was, well, hello, Kanara. Would that be a party of two? No, we're fine out here. Thank you. And just start, just start eating. All right, so we're gonna get this. Oh, we have this cookie cutter. I don't know if we're gonna need those. We're gonna find out. There's my timer. Stop everything. Well, where's my uh, glove? All right. Now they're gonna be kind of puffy when you first take them out, but they will. Oh, his little head kind of bent up. Looks like he has like a little cap on. I'm just gonna put these over here for now just so I can get these cooling, and I'm burning my hand. No, you cannot have any of these. I love you to the moon and back, but I will cut you if you take one of those gingerbread men cookies off of there right now. <laughs> I, will. I will, I will definitely harm your soul. 
He's over there eyeballing the cookie cutters. Lynn, how are you doing? Lovely to see you. We're just going to put this little guy over here. Hopefully we'll have enough room to roll everything else out. I'm going to get some of this gingerbread stickiness off of here. And we're going to make the other batch of dough. The other batch of dough is just a plain sugar cookie dough. I don't know how we're going to decorate them. I have no clue. I'm just going to rinse out this KitchenAid. I want to make sure all this, I want to make sure all the cinnamon and ginger and everything's out. Oh, why is it on cold water? All right. That is rinse. Where's my towel? And then we're going to read the directions for this because this is through, yeah, these sugar cookies were through Ingrediology. He was selling these to his stream. They donated money. This is the Ingrediology box. Uh, Logan of Ingrediology and Irish Kate, and they were selling these boxes, and $10 of these boxes, and they completely sold out, went to um, St. Jude's to help out St. Jude's. So I thought that was a, a wonderful thing. All right, let's get this little bad boy in there. Now these directions, I don't normally do directions on the phone, so I'm going to help Hamby clean. Boo, you do you. Actually, go help him out. He, he, that would be nice of you to do. Derek helps me too, and I think that's... I think that's something that's kind of neat when you have, you know, a couples, even though he doesn't stream, he doesn't have anything to do with streaming, he will get up and start helping me wash the dishes and everything before, so I don't have to spend another, you know, two hours doing dishes, which is so wonderful. Okay, so, okay, so on his stream, I need four ounces, I need 113 grams of butter, so let's get out our scale again. Oh, darn it, I touched the side of that chair. Let's see how much butter, how much did we say this one was? Didn't we say a stick of butter was 114 grams? 116. Do we go with it? I'm going to go with it because some of that's going to stick to the, when I cook for my partner, he always does the dishes too. See, teamwork, teamwork makes the dream work. We do need an egg. I think the egg is for the frosting though. I think the egg is for the frosting. So let's see. Stand mixer, paddle attachment. Three bowls for that, three spoons. Okay, now we're getting, now we're getting way complicated. The sugar, the sugar packet, which is here, okay, with the butter. We're going to put that in there. We're going to let that mix. When that mix, we're going to add the egg. Okay, so while the egg, I'll put the egg over in the warm water again because evidently I don't know how to plan well. Let's get some, let's get some warm water. Bring that egg up to room temperature. In the meantime, we'll start creaming the butter and the sugar. I'm really nervous about frosting these. I, I got to say, I'm very nervous about the frosting aspect of this. So are we, we're creaming the butter and the sugar together, yeah? Cream the butter, the sugar, pack it on medium speed. Okay. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. All right, there's our sugar. Here's our paddle, I'll just wipe that off on that apron. That's what they're for. And then we're gonna whip up some plain. So on the ginger dead cookies, I'm just gonna use white icing. And on these cookies, I'm not sure what all I'm gonna make yet. I don't have any Christmas cutters. He did provide, he did provide uh, cookie cutters in his kit, which are really cute by the way. All right, let's get that going. Let's get that going. Ooh, he did provide cookie cutters in his kit, and the cookie cutters that he provided, um, where's this, oh, here's this one, and I have the other one over here. So he has his logo, his logo is one of them. So that's the Ingrediology logo, which I thought was really, really cute. Hey there, Kanara, love the title of your stream and love your stove. Where's the stove from? Actually, it's a 1934 Magic Chef, it's an original, so it's not, it was actually made on the East Coast. And it was actually, its first life was on the East Coast and it somehow made its way over to the West Coast. Do you like my antlers? 
I did too. I like my antlers too. I, sh I wish I could light them up. I think that would be kind of cute. And so the interesting part about that, these stoves were designed by a company called Magic Chef. These stoves were designed to actually, they can actually work on propane or on natural gas, which is wonderful. The entire thing is cast iron. So in my oven here, my oven's at 350. This door, yeah, that door is at 350. The outside here is at 350, and the heat starts to radiate this way. This stays cool, though, because this is just shelving in here for all my cast iron. And then I have more cast iron in there. So that part doesn't get hot, but this thing here radiates the heat. I don't use the oven in the summertime, let me tell you that. Yes, yes, like the Aga cookers, yeah. Oh, you have a 1940s O'Keefe? Oh, I saw somebody who had one in their house. It was a custom-built 1940s O'Keefe, and it was red, because the O'Keefe's are normally white. And this is, this is the other, it says hype, but each one is like little individual cookies. I don't know if, I, oh, thank you for that follow Claire. I appreciate that so much. I don't know if I want to do the tiny hype ones and stuff. So what I thought we would do was, are you guys ready for it? It's not Christmassy. Again, from Sophia the Hobbit, a mason jar. <laughs> I don't know. I figure, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to start. Let's get this creaming then. So we have our butter. I... I'm assuming we're supposed to do that on high. Okay, so let's, let's find out. Food coloring, yes. Stand mixer, yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, all the follows. Brownie Exorcist. Love the name, by the way. Love the name. I know, so now, now we're going to have a little mason jar. So we're creaming the butter and the sugar on medium speed for three minutes. Sure, let's set my timer for three minutes. Go because I'm going to follow the directions. Add the egg, mix again to combine. Add the contents of the cookie dough while mixing. The, when the dough, the dough is ready when it no longer is crumbly in texture, it's pulling away from the sides of the bowl. So we're not adding any vanilla to this? What? I think we need to add some vanilla. I don't know, I like that. Thank you, I love watching cooking streams. You're in the right place. We do exclusively cooking here. Exclusively cooking. I thought there was, wait, there's another bag here. Oh, so this bag, okay, this is the other bag that came with it. This is all powdered sugar, probably with meringue powder in here. That's gonna make our royal icing. But I'm also making royal icing the traditional way. As soon as I get this mix, I'm gonna mix some of that up for those ginger, ginger dead cookies. We don't need this anymore. Let's get this out of here. I want to eat one of those ginger dead men, like right now. Okay, I'm going to take this over here. It's looking fluffy, but still looking a little bit grainy from the sugar, so I'm going to let that go a little bit longer. Oh my goodness gracious. Film buff, film buff 666. Boy, you would have loved the Halloween streams that we were doing. We had all the evil stuff going on for Halloween. I, I like to do things that are normal, like we've done like our themes on Wednesdays, like we're, we did World Soup Wednesday, World Sandwich Wednesday. We did an entire thing on, on horror for the month of October. December, of course, Ho Ho Homicide. Then I go on vacation. I'm going down to Southern California. And when I come back on the 29th, we're going to have a just chatting stream because we're going to kind of pick out what we're going to be doing in uh, January. And I've I've got some ideas, would love to run them all by you, so come on by, we'll hang out there. Are you from the Midwest originally? No, I'm actually born and raised in Southern California, and we moved up here, we bought the house up here in 2010, up here in Oregon, and we relocated, we retired from Southern California, relocated up here, and now I live on a seven and a half acre ranch in Oregon in the middle of nowhere. I mean, not nowhere, I mean, there's, there's other houses and stuff, but they're, they're all like kind of far away. <laughs> oh, how are we doing on our time? How are we doing on our time? Let's check this out. 30 seconds, I'm not gonna look at it. If you're looking, it ain't cooking or mixing or doing whatever. All right, let's get this piece of paper off of here. That's what I had all my stuff on. Let's get another piece of parchment. I buy my parchment. And... That's so funny. My significant other lives in Oregon. P&W, baby. P&W, P&W stands for Pacific Northwest. How long do these cook for? All right. 
think I did that on low now. Thank you for that follow, Chef Ink Robot. Chef Ink Robot. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where this stuff comes from. I, I have no idea. Um, my brain just comes out. Okay. So now we add the contents while bag is while it's slowly mixing. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh gosh, I just coughed in the microphone. I am so sorry. Not that you catch cooties, but. Wait a minute, don't I mix in the egg first? I think I should have added the egg. Yeah, oops. Well, you know what? We're gonna be okay with that. Why? Because we're just gonna put it in here. Yeah. You know, accidents happen. Sometimes they're fun, sometimes they're silly. You just never know what's gonna happen. That scared the heck out of me, my coffee, and I am so sorry. Wish I had that kitchen that big. Hey, mom boss lady, how are you? I do like my kitchen. I will say, when we, when we bought the house, that was one of the things I really liked was, it had no appliances in it. Because it was a foreclosure house or something, or a bank-owned house, bank-owned property. And I like that I have the room that I have here and the, and the big pantry. But you know, the living room was right there. The dining room was really right on the other side. It's, it's all open floor plan, which I just, I just love. So I should probably mix this a little high. All right, now that the, now that the egg is, we're gonna have the egg mix in. Maka Waka, how are you doing today? Oh my gosh. Oh, mom boss lady, don't say I guess, say I am doing good. It may not be, you know, exactly what you want it to be, but you're here, you're with us, you get to, we get to enjoy your company. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. Okay, do you think I should add some vanilla to this? Because this cookie dough isn't, isn't calling for any vanilla. I think we should add a little bit. Do you think we should add a little bit? I mean, you know, just a, just a skosh. A skosh as in a teaspoon. I like that vanilla flavor. I like the the warm aspect that vanilla adds to uh, cookies and, and batters and cakes and everything. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna kind of push, oh, accidents happen. Jeez Louise, how did I knock down over all my olive oil reaching for a spatula? Oh, this is nice and fluffy now. I'm ready for that. All right, let's get this in here. Can you not grab the bag for me? That would be great. We'll let that mix a little bit on low. Vanilla makes it taste richer. Yeah, there's just something about vanilla that even just a little tiny bit, it doesn't taste like you're eating like a vanilla cookie, but there's just this warm flavor to it that I think just adds quite a bit, quite a bit. Just tired a little bit down as time. Oh, and that's the hard, the holidays, the holidays do make that difficult. My son lives in Sunnyvale, sent me a pic wearing a hoodie saying he's freezing. What's the temp in Sunnyvale, like 65 or 68 right now? I adore everything about this stream. Lisa, thank you so much for that. That is such a lovely thing to say. We're, we're not, we're not conventional. On some things we're not too conventional, but on, on other things I, you know, I am conventional on. So we're just, we're having some fun here. And I've never worked with these, uh, how, you, how are you supposed to use these? There's no directions on how to use these. Oh, wait, I do want red. Oh, okay, wait, I don't, wait. All right, what is this? Wait, lemony yellow, Christmas red. I do want Christmas red. Um, what's this one, lemony yellow? Oh, they're, okay, they are completely sealed. I use like eight times of vanilla it's called for. Brown. I have some sprinkles. 
I have no idea how to use these, how to use these uh, gel things. Okay, are we not mixing up for a reason? Did I? Okay, am I missing an ingredient? I've got the butter in there. I must have forgot the water or something. Add the egg, combine to mix. Add the contents of the cookie dough. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so we did the mixer, we did the cream, the, in a mixer, cream the four ounces of butter, which we did, and the sugar. Blah, blah, blah. We added the egg. Blah, blah. Add the cookie dough mix. Okay, I'm really confused. Baking powder, that was all I think in the mix because his comes in packets in the, in the kit. So like everything's like sealed, it'll say like this is bag one, this is bag two. So it had all the flour, the baking powder, the salt, anything that had to be in there was, was inside that. But this is like, there's no way this is gonna come together. There's, there, there's, okay. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Those of you who are bakers, because evidently I am not. So this is probably about three cups of flour, maybe about two and a half cups of flour. Um, if I had to guess, I should have weighed it. I, I, would, I, would, have, I would have known more after I'd weighed it. Let me blow my nose here. 